Well, get to the chopper. Come on. Do it. Do it now. Come on, I'm right here. For those of you who are still here, you weren't scared away by that well, in introduction. <laughs> For those of you who were so unlucky to click on today's episode, it's Canada Day weekend. Well, it, it is the following Wednesday, but a lot of people, a lot of medication. Anyway, had to do the video. Well, this is Sean Roden versus Patrick Moore. And I have to say, these two were designed to be matched up on the Olympia stage. These are phenomenal lean physiques. There is not a whole lot of emphasis. I can't believe I got that on the first shot. Emphasis placed on size, and that is refreshing. I've been watching a lot of bodybuilders from India, Sunit Jadhav, and you guys, you guys said, well, they would never be able to stand up against IFBB pros. But these, these guys are very popular now. I mean, Sean Roden won the title for goodness sakes. And Patrick Moore's lean physique impressed more people than anybody. So that's crazy to say that. People are more impressed with lean physiques, period. Anyway, Sean has a little bit of stomach distension here versus that vacuum of Patrick Moore to get my head out of the clouds and start judging this one properly. The front double by is a close one, guys. It is a nail biter. Front lat spread, I guess. I guess they're going to change the pitchers on me. I didn't make a final decision. I would wager to say Sean is a little drier overall. If you take a really close look and Patrick is winning this front lat spread. His muscle separation is awesome and the lats themselves are a little bit better, but it is close. Patrick Moore, I'm sure I will get some comments. He's taller than Sean Roden. I know that. He's bending at the knees. That's what he does. And that it's going to take some of your height away. Of course. He's even holding his head down a little bit. Sean Roden is going straight-legged. He's about 5'10". A couple inches shorter. Not much. So bending at the knees, things of that nature, does definitely make a difference. Sean Roden. Now, this is what I mean about his dryness. Take a look at his glutes. Even his delts. Vascularity level. Up to the yin-yang. I'm telling you right now. Patrick Moore, I'm impressed with him, though. Very lowly inserted calves. Does one Patrick Moore have? But there's not much muscle separation in those calves. I like the pecs. I like the chest. Sean Roden has a, a bulbous chest, which is a good thing, I guess. But the overall dryness of those glutes, Sean Roden, he even he said himself, I was I was peeled at the 2019 Olympia. Sorry. I said 19, 18. He talks with a really gravelly voice. Did you notice that? He's so dry. Like, literally, he hasn't had a drink of water. I think I would give Sean Roden an edge in both side shots. That is, if I was not looking at the tricep itself. But Pat doesn't really have a huge tricep, per se, either or there either, does he? And I would wager to say, I don't know. It's a close one here. I like that waist to upper body ratio of Patrick Moore. That's incredible. So, yeah, he's not as dry as Sean. But I would wager to say he may be getting an edge in the side tricep. Not the side chest, though. Back development. And, wow. this this Honestly, guys, this is a close one. I'm sure I'm going to get a, a slew of comments saying, oh, Sean Roden wins this one. Hands down. He's an Olympia champion. What's Patrick Moore? <laughs> but I'm telling you guys, now that the judges are looking for this guy, I hope he brings this package again because he didn't at the Arnold's Classics. <laughs> I like Reg Park. Um... Dry, 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 dry. Look at the lower body of Sean Roden. But there's a lot of muscle separation for Pat. Pat Moore. Patrick. I wonder if he's an Irish bloke. Well, of course he's not. Anyway, rear double by. I think Roden does have a better back development. He's winning in this one. It was close in the rear lat. I think he does have a drier, maybe a better, better set of lats, better set of traps. Good arms for Pat, but yeah, 
I think it was close in a couple of shots. Pat definitely winning in the front lad, I would say. But I think Roden is getting a more decisive victory when he does get a victory, that is. Oh, we still have a couple of poses left. Too much medication. It's never a good thing, guys. And don't forget that. Seriously. Ab and thigh pose. Pat Moore, usually the one in the lead in this pose. But when I look at Sean Roden, he displays just a classical, awesome pose. Again, Pat Moore bending at the knees quite substantially. Sean, a little bit, not nearly as much. Patrick Moore, I expect big things for the future for him. I hope he does get better. But as is, I think Roden may score a victory over him. He's just a little too dry. And he's aesthetic too. It's an aesthetic guy versus another one. The most muscular. What an incredible little battle that these guys do have. In pitchers, that is. I think in real life, if you've seen them in real life, Sean Roden would display a thin skin that would be second to none. They didn't give him the victory over... Dr. Phil, Phil Heath, just for no reason at all. Again, he's going straight lagged, and Pat really bending at the knees. Maybe even made him a little shorter. He's holding his head down, too, and Roden holding his head up high with pride, as he should. Anyway, oh, this one here definitely goes to Roden. Look at the thin skin difference, the conditioning. Just awesome. I like Sean Roden. I like his physique. I like Patrick Moore. I really like his physique, but I like his chances for the future as well. It's going the way of lean physiques, guys. Definitely is for sure. And Suni Chadhav, guys like that, I mean, they can learn. They can honestly learn. Imagine a guy with superior genetics with that type of conditioning. I'm telling you right now, that's a Sean Roden. That's a Patrick Moore. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Sean Roden is your victor on this fine day. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I promised myself. I, I was actually going to start singing. But I won't subject you guys to that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Anyway, had to be done. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And find me on... Thumbs up, Bill. He thought I was going to say Instagram, but find me on there too. Have a good day, guys.